Hello and welcome back to JMP Miniatures. This video is a painting tutorial on how to paint Dark Eldar Witches. So to start I'm using an airbrush and Vallejo Model Air Colour Grey Primer just to prime the model. Next I'm base coating the model with a 5 to 1 mix of Vallejo Game Colour Scarlet Red and Vallejo Game Colour Black. In this step, I base coat all the metal areas with Vallejo Game Color Gunmetal. Next, I'm base coating the cloth with Citadel Cadian Flesh Tone. The metal armor areas are base coated with Citadel's Brass Scorpion. I then base coat the face with Citadel Ragarth Flesh Tone. The arm and bones on the model are also painted with Ragarth Flesh. Any leather areas are painted with Citadel's Mournfang Brown. The hair is then base coated with Vallejo Game Colour Scarlet Red. Next, I base coat the combat drugs with Citadel's The Fang. All of the dark red areas of the model are then washed with Citadel's Caraberg Crimson. The silver areas and the flesh is then washed with Citadel's Nulm Oil. Finally, the cloth and the brass areas are washed with Agrax Earthshade from Citadel and the combat drugs are then washed with Dragnoff Nightshade which is also from Citadel. Next, I begin to lay out all of the skin areas with Citadel's Pallid Witch Flesh. Make sure this is watered down and apply in maybe two to three layers. I also lay out over the cloth area with Dwarf Flesh from Citadel. The armour is then given a really rough highlight with Vallejo Game Colour Scarlet Red. The brass armour sections are highlighted with Citadel's Dwarf Bronze. The combat drugs are layered over with Rust Grey from Citadel. Next, I dry brush all the silver areas with Vallejo Game Colour Gunmetal. The model's hair is then highlighted with Citadel's Mephiston Red. And the combat drugs are then highlighted with Citadel's Fenrisian Grey. I then add some Reichland Flesh Shade to the skin areas just to give them a warmer tone and I go over the combat drugs with a blue glaze from Citadel. Moving on to the base, I paint the whole thing and the rim around the base with Vallejo Game Colour Black. 
base is then given a dry brush of codex grey and then a lighter one of forest grey just for a highlight. So here's a 360 degree view of the finished model. Uh, I've obviously went for a red colour scheme. If you would like to see any other tutorials on different colour schemes for Dark Eldar, um, just leave it in the comment section below and I will respond to that. Now coming up to the end of the video, I would just like to say I hope this video has been helpful and thanks very much for watching.